This Mobile Geeks video is powered by ASUS. Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Intel Compute Stick from the viewpoint of a hardcore gamer. Now, the Intel Compute Stick is generally just meant for casual browsing on your television. It comes with an HDMI connector, so you can plug it into the back of any TV. Now, it comes loaded with Windows 8.1 with Bing, so you can actually use it as a computer if you want to. Though the Intel Atom Z3735F processor with two gigabytes of RAM isn't exactly the most powerful. You'll be able to surf the web, but you shouldn't be able to do that much else. Now, if I'm saying that, why are we going to be looking at it from the viewpoint of a hardcore gamer? Well, because it has Windows 8.1 and you can load hardcore games onto it. So taking a look at the device, there's not much to it. It comes with a USB port, a micro SD card slot that's good up to 128 gigabytes, comes with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. The Bluetooth doesn't have a very big range and isn't that reliable. Okay, now let's check one of the maybe the best game in history. Okay. Full screen. Okay. When there's a lot of action on the screen, you can see there's a frame drop out, but it's not anything serious. The game is still playable. Okay, guys, this is Dota 2. And as you can see, it's playable if you just set the details to low. It's ugly, but it's playable. some action on the screen the frame rate is pretty much stable. It's looking good actually. Thank you. 
plus mean? So if there was a game that... So that was a look at gaming on the Intel Compute Stick. Now if there was a game that you wanted us to try, we may have tried it out. So why don't you check out a link in the description below to the full article and review. There were a few games that only played at three or four frames per second, so we didn't bother including them in the video. And while you're clicking around on the screen, why don't you hit subscribe so you don't miss more videos like this one. I'm your host, Nicole Scott, for Mobile Geeks. Yeah.